guys, in this video we're going to be working through an exam style question. Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at a practice exam question about empirical formulae. The question starts with a figure which is showing a simple covalent molecule and it asks you to write down the chemical formula and the empirical formula of this molecule. To answer this question you just need to remember that the empirical formula gives you the simplest whole number ratio of atoms of each element present within a compound. To start with, it's easy to identify the chemical formula for this molecule, as you just need to count the number of atoms of each element that appear. For example, if you start with carbons, you can see that we have two carbon atoms. So we write this with a capital C with a subscript 2. We also have hydrogens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 of them. So we draw a capital H and a subscript 6. And finally, we also have oxygen, 4 of them. So a capital O and a subscript 4. It doesn't matter which order you write carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. But by convention, you'll often see carbon first followed by hydrogen, followed by any other atoms that are present within the molecule. In order to work out the empirical formula for this molecule, we need to work out the simplest whole number ratio of atoms of each element. We need to work out the simplest whole number ratio. And we can do this by finding the highest common factor of 2, 6 and 4. If you think about your highest common factors, you'll quickly see that the highest common factor of 2, 6 and 4 is going to be 2. And therefore the empirical formula will result by dividing the entire chemical formula by 2. If we do this, we can see that we get C with just a 1, so we don't need a subscript, H with a subscript 3, and O with a subscript 2. The simplest whole number ratio is 1 to 3 to 2, which is equivalent to 2 to 6 to 4. And we've therefore identified our empirical formula for this molecule. You get one mark for correctly getting the chemical formula, and one mark for the correct empirical formula. In the next part of the question, we're told about another molecule which has the empirical formula of CH2O and an MR or relative formula mass value of 180. And the question asks us what is its chemical formula? And we're told to use the periodic table below, which is a hint. Hi guys! To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCC chemistry and combined science videos, just click on the Snap Revive smiley face. Join me today and together let's make chemistry at GCSE a walk in the park.